1984 novel by English author George Orwell published in 1949 as a warning against totalitarianism. The chilling dystopia made a deep impression on readers and his ideas entered mainstream culture in a way achieved by very few books. George Orwell wrote 1984 as a warning after years of brooding on a twin menaces of Nazism and Stalinism. Its depiction of a state where daring to think differently is rewarded with torture, where people are monitored every second of the day, and where party propaganda stops free speech and thought is a sobering reminder of the evils of unaccountable governments. The book's title and the many of its concepts such as Big Brother and the Thought Police are instantly recognized and understood, often as by words for modern social and political abuses. The book is set in 1984 in Oceania, one of the perpetually warring totalitarian state. Oceania is governed by the all-controlling party which has brainwashed the population into unthinking obedience to its leader, Big Brother. The party has created a propagandistic language known as Newspeak which is designed to limit free thought and promote the party's doctrines. Its words include double think which is reflected in the party's slogans, war is peace, freedom is slavery, and ignorance is strength. The party maintains control through the thought police and continual surveillance. The book's hero, Winston Smith, is a minor party functionary living in a London that is still shattered by a nuclear war that took place not long after World War II. He belongs to the outer party and his job is to rewrite history in the Ministry of Truth, bringing it in line with current political thinking. However, Winston's longing for truth and decency leads him to secretly rebel against the government. He embarks on a forbidden affair with Julia, a like-minded woman, and they rent a room in a neighborhood populated by proletariats. Winston also becomes increasingly interested in the Brotherhood, a group of dissenters. Unbeknownst to Winston and Julia, however, they are being watched Closely. When Winston is approached by O'Brien, an official of the inner party who appears to be a secret member of a brotherhood, the trap is set. O'Brien is actually a spy for the party on the lookout for thought criminals and Winston and Julia are eventually caught and sent to the Ministry of Love for a violent re-education. The ensuing imprisonment, torture and re-education of Winston are intended not merely to break him physically or make him submit but to root out his independence and destroy his dignity and humanity. In room 101, where prisoners are forced into submission by exposure to their worst nightmares, Winston panics as a cage of rats is attached to his head. He yells out for his tormentors to do it to Julia and states that he does not care what happens to her. With this betrayal, Winston is released. He later encounters Julia and neither is interested in the other. Instead, Winston loves Big Brother. This novel is a warning for the human race. It highlights the importance of resisting mass control and oppression.